so starting our vlog for the day at about 6 30 at night that's not our usual usually we you know might not vlog in the morning but usually we're done vlogging by now so we are getting ready because tomorrow is actually chicken butchering day those girls over there are meat birds we are going to be butchering them which is going to be the first time at our house that we'll be doing this so exciting terrifying all of the above anybody know what those are for <laughs> so we are actually spending the night getting everything set up so that chicken butchering goes well and as smoothly as it can I'm sure we are going to forget things just because we haven't really done this all ourselves before but hopefully it goes well so we will be butchering 99 of the Cornish cross hens we'll be doing that tomorrow and I've been getting a lot of questions from people we know because although we've always butchered our own chickens with family members we've never really been super vocal about and it frankly having these giant well hi why are you out don't get in the wrong pen one of our laying girls over here having these giant chicken tractors in our backyard it just sparks conversation when one of the neighbors is driving by or when someone stops by. I had someone say to me that they couldn't believe we could do that. That this just sounded so awful. Go, are you gonna go put her away? <laughs> All right, go put her in. Evan and his chicken. So we had somebody mention that, how could you do that? It just sounds so awful, like they don't want to be this close to their food source. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather it. So where are you going to store these chicken tractors when we're all done? I don't know. I don't think we're done. I think we'll be doing another small batch. I have a feeling. Why do you think that? Because is 70 really enough? If you think about it, 52 is one a week. With our family size, I think uh, we'll be doing more than one chicken a week. So we'll see. See how it goes. But we have plenty of room. We can start back there. I'm not too worried. I'm just glad that everything went good. No animal got on them. Our first time. So good to go. So another thing going on in our house right now is our dryer broke. Matt attempted to fix it, but this thing has been fixed over and over and over and over again. I swear they just don't make appliances like they used to. Since we've been busy with so many different things, we haven't had a chance to go out and get a dryer. I thought maybe we could just kind of order it online, but we want to make sure we can get one from someone who will take this one away. So thankfully it has been nice and warm outside and I have been able to hang laundry outside. Since I don't have a clothesline, I've had to come up with some pretty interesting places to hang it, but we're making it work. So do you remember all our lilacs were blooming and I was able to cut some because some had fallen down in a storm 
and put them on our kitchen table. But I really wanted to make something out of our lilacs and they're just done so fast. I was never able to make jelly or anything like that. And I thought, oh, I'm just out of luck. And then look at this. Got a whole nother bush that just started um, flowering. So I'm actually going to pick these and make a recipe that my sister sent me. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. I was trying to cut that one with one hand because my other hand is holding the camera and it fell right in my little bowl. What are you doing? <laughs> that wheeler. Driving the wheeler? What are you unboxing today? Chicken plucker. Do you think they want the crate back? What are you going to use it for? The crate? I don't know. They make a really sweet magic trick. Hide the kids in there? Where the water runs down? In all the feathers. Back up, Eli. Okay. No, just the bottom of the spins. It's like a washing machine. You can use this as a washing machine. Hmm? What's that noise? Is that wind just or rain? Just the cars, just the cars over there. Rain's coming. Rain is coming. Uh oh. All right. Faster, I can like see this out. I know, grab that side. We're gonna see if it'll roll sideways. Oh, of course it won't. All right, I'll stay in front of it. I Don't feel the raindrop. Eli, you gonna hold me? No. Oh. So we didn't get too much set up, but we did get the deck. We did get under the deck, cleaned out, washed out. Most of the big stuff is down here. So it'll just be a matter of setting up kind of our assembly line in the morning. Now it looks like it's going to rain, so hopefully everything is good and safe in a dry spot under the four season for now. So I'm so excited to try this recipe for my sister. Just lilacs and lemonade. These are gonna go in the fridge for about three days. And then we're gonna make it into happy lemonade and mix it with some vodka. So hopefully it's delicious. <laughs> 